Hello. Um, now, let me start with what is actually due. Congratulations for having successfully gone through our mentoring program and for having signed with Bain & Company in the US. So what does this successful outcome actually mean to you? Yeah, thank you uh, so much, CD. Um, to be honest, this means so much more than I can actually put into words, but okay. I'm still going to try. So firstly, uh, from a personal standpoint, um, it's a huge relief because I have a huge financial loan. And so this offer couldn't come at a better time after my MBA. Mm -hmm. uh, second, uh, also, I think um, the offer from, um, like, how do I say? Uh, it gives me this huge sense of accomplishment because mm -hmm. I feel like I just pulled off something very challenging, very rare. And this gives me a huge surge of belief in myself that, okay, if I follow a systematic process, keep a level head, like there are a few things that could be out of your reach. It gives me that sense. I think that's very valuable. Yes. And also it changed a lot of my behaviors in day-to-day -day life, made me more organized, disciplined, helped me plan and execute better. Mm -hmm. um, but also more professionally speaking, this is a huge step, right? Um, it's the biggest brand on my CV that I've had so far, um, next to maybe my school where I did my MBA. Yeah. Um, and it's a huge career, like Catapult, it just pushes me in a different league. Yeah. And I'm really excited about the doors this is going to open for me in terms yeah. of the people I will be working with, the projects I'll be on. Yeah. So um, my long-term dream is to be the CEO of a company. And I feel like I just got one step closer. So yes. it means so many things to me. Yes, yes. Oh, amazing, amazing. Um, now, before we uh, speak about how we actually work towards getting your offers, um, I would like to jump back to the point when it all started, right? So, because I still remember when you reached out to us and we then spoke about, you know, how uh, we would follow a very systematic step-by-step -step plan to prepare you, uh, um, uh, prepare your apl uh, application documents, first of all, then securing a referral pipeline with the top firms. And then, of course, uh, bringing your interview performance to an absolute top level, right? But at the time, I felt that you were really, you know, wrestling with yourself on whether, you know, the MEB offer machine is actually the right choice for you. Uh, could you share how you felt back then? And what was it that eventually made you say like, okay, yes, I want to work with these guys. I believe uh, they will, you know, offer me the best guidance that will make me successful. Got it. Um, so let me just provide some context, right? At the time when I came across the MBB offer machine, I had already gone through the recruiting process once and I'd interviewed with two of the MBBs and had zero offers. Mm. So having done that, when I came across this program that says we can get you those offers, I was really skeptical. <laughs> I was thinking I've already done 70 plus cases. What is going to be the value add here? I already know how to case. Yeah. Second, I had seen so many other such programs, right? Um, the market is like flooded with these. I had even tried one of those programs before and mm. I felt a similar sell from the team before the program. But once I joined, it was like a different story altogether. Mm. And third, I felt like the the situation I was in was not really something the program could help with. I felt like this is like a macroeconomic, like market factor. Like, you know, how can they really help me through this? Yeah. Um, ultimately, I think uh, what really convinced me or changed my mind, like I was partially convinced before joining, but a few weeks into joining, I was fully convinced. Mm -hmm. So before joining, what happened was like, I obviously looked up your and Yorn's background and I yeah. saw like, the incredible experiences that you've had, like years of working at MBB, years of interviewing. Mm. So that really convinced me. And particularly when we had our first touch point, I told you about how I felt like the business school case books uh, did not seem to reflect the cases I saw in the interview. And you instantly yeah. picked up on it. Yeah. And you said, I understand. I completely understand. And that was the moment where I felt, okay, you know, they seem to understand where I'm coming from. Yeah. So that was a huge factor. But um, another thing was, I think I did some diligence, right? I asked you for some contacts of people who went through the program and I spoke yes. to, I want to say about three of them. Yeah. And two of them really convinced me because they gave me like the goods and also um, the things that I would need to bring from my end. Mm -hmm. So they gave me a clear distinction about how the program will empower you to get this offer but they are not going to do it on your behalf exactly like, that it's they, not falling from the sky it's work <laughs> right 
So um, this one person told me they are not going to network for you, but they're going to empower you to network well. Yeah. So it was things like these and uh, seeing the success numbers that ultimately convinced me. And yeah, looking back, best decision I ever made. Yeah. So. <laughs> so then, I mean, uh, in hindsight, I guess uh, the investment was probably worth it, right? <laughs> Completely, totally worth it. Like every every uh, penny. And also, yeah, this was the best investment I've ever made towards my career. I can say that with a lot of surety. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Um, so now, um, I mean, it's not a secret, right? That top consulting firms like Bain, also like McKinsey, like BCG, they usually reject around 99% of the applicants, right? And uh, even those candidates who are passing the CV screen and to make it to the actual interview process, I mean, more than nine out of 10 eventually are not successful. So you, in contrast, uh, um, if I have this correctly in my mind, uh, you have received from uh, offers from two out of three firms that you actually interviewed with, right? So now... What do you think? Uh, why were you able to convince your interviewers more than almost all other candidates? What has been the major success driver here? And what role uh, did uh, the preparation program play in this? Um, I think the major success driver really is how prepared I was, um, the extent of my preparation and that reflecting in my confidence levels. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Let me talk about, you know, uh, things that helped me secure the interview and things that helped me ace the interview. So towards securing the interview, um, I think one of the things that really helped was I was networking very well. Mm. Um, I was asking very thoughtful questions. I uh, was treating the coffee chats that I was having uh, as a relationship building exercise. Yeah. I really took the extra steps to um, learn about the person and hoped in return that they would invest in me. Yeah. And a, a simple gut check that you gave me was very helpful, right? You said, before you ask a question in a coffee chat, if the, if the other person says, why do you ask? Mm -hmm. Can you really justify asking this question? Yeah. I thought that was really great because this gave me a quick gut check before I asked the question. Yes. And I was convinced, okay, I'm asking this question for a really good reason. Mm -hmm. So I was confident in my coffee chats. I was confident in, in like campus-wide uh, presentations I cannot recall how many times people told me that's a great question and you know <laughs> how good that felt and this yeah. is one part of it right networking the second part was um, I also submitted like a very very strong application thanks to the program like I submitted cover letters for every form super tailored yeah. I believe the cover letter was directly responsible for one of my interviews so this is a um, consumer retail consulting firm mm -hmm. and uh, they specifically said they would be more interested in candidates with either a consulting background or a consumer retail background yeah. I neither of those yeah. so I believe it was my cover letter and the reasons I gave them that convinced them yeah. so this was about securing the interviews um, and in the interview itself I believe I went in with iron tight uh, like fit stories because of the um, the methods that we learn in the program on how to craft a good story what makes a good story yeah. and mentors your they didn't again it's more about they didn't write the stories for me Mm -hmm. But they gave the tools on how to gut check if this is a good story. Yes. If this is a, yeah. So that was really helpful. Mm -hmm. And um, I also went in with a lot of introspection, right? For the first time, I really thought, what exactly are my goals? Why exactly am I doing it? Yeah. Like from the drawing board. Yeah. So that was about the fit. And with the case itself, like what is left to be said? I went in with a very rigorous process oriented, top down answer first approach, right? And yeah. I was very in doing the cases yeah. and a, a simple gut check that I had here was I enjoyed the cases like I genuinely enjoy the cases yeah. I went in with excitement I did the case with excitement and I walked yeah. away feeling good yeah so yeah, yeah. so you uh, uh, th this is one of the things uh, probably you heard it countless times also from us during the program that the mindset should not be the mindset of walking into an oral exam right the mindset should be uh, walking into a discussion where you are looking forward to just show how well you can, you know, get to the core of an issue, right? And uh, how well you can discuss an issue uh, with an interviewer, because this is what they are also after. They are not, you know, they don't want to give you an oral exam and then just waiting for the correct answer, quote unquote. No, they're asking you these questions to genuinely, under genuinely understand how do you think and are you able to have an inspirational discussion with a client also, right? 
That's true, a hundred percent. And on the mindset, I can say that the first time I interviewed, I felt a lot of fear and anxiety through the interview. Mm. Probably because I was looking at it as an exam, but this time around, it was just more excitement. There was very few times when I even felt like fear or yeah. anxiety. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Um, maybe maybe on that point, right? If we expand a little bit, um, how was if you just look at the entire preparation journey, right? Uh, how was this on an emotional level for you? Because I mean, probably it dot it did not just go super smoothly all the time, right? So, um, did you have to push yourself also so, uh, through some challenging phases, right? And uh, if yes, what has helped you to overcome these? Yeah. Um, it was definitely a roller coaster. In fact, I might say when I stepped into the program, I already started from a low. I was so exhausted. Mm. I was like I already did 70 cases. I've already interviewed, mm. and here I am yeah. back to back to square one. I yeah. started from a super low. But then, yeah, the program itself was a roller coaster, many highs, many lows. But um, the way that I really dealt with it was, I think this is repeated in the program multiple times, trusting the process. Yes. having patience, just have patience and focus on what you need to do today, mm -hmm. like what you need to do day to day. So a couple of moments that were very challenging in the program, right? Um, you think that you're on a good streak of cases going well. Mm -hmm. And then you have that one case that throws you off, makes you question everything. Yeah. So this was happening to me somewhere midway in the program where I felt like specifically around the exhibits, um, I seem to be struggling. Mm -hmm. So again, I went back to my basis, right? What the program says, um, yeah. trust the process, reach out to your mentors, yeah. like quickly diagnose the problem and work on uh, iterating it, yeah. So, which is what I did, uh, right? So I went back, I watched my case videos. I saw where is it that I'm having a gap. Then I watched the videos from the program. Then I approached my mentors. Uh, I approached the daily, uh, you in the daily touch point sessions, yes. sought your advice. Um, then I remember you told me to approach this like a diagnostic case. Mm. So zoom in and what exactly is the issue and then how to deal with it. Yes. So I tried to implement that and then I did drills and eventually I got better with exhibits. So yeah. again, it was just uh, trusting the process and being process oriented that helped me push through the lows. Mm -hmm. I would say another challenging phase was the interview phase, right? So the mm -hmm. interview invites came one after the other, all scheduled in the next two to three weeks. And I instantly felt a surge of stress and, you know, yes. a wave of emotions. Yes. Then again, I took a step back and said, okay, what does the program say? Trust the process, just work on what you need to do today. So I remember for Bain, uh, I created an execution plan, mm -hmm. right? So I uh, used the top down way of thinking and I thought what needs to be true for me to succeed in the Bain interview. Yes. And then I made sort of a tree, broke it down into the different things that I need to do, allocated how much time each uh, job would take. And I came up with 22 hours for Bain. Yeah. So every time I felt stressed, I would remind myself, hey, it's okay. 22 hours for Bain. Just stick yeah. to the plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. That really helped me push through the stress of doing the interviews. And yes. I remember one of the videos says, uh, interview day mindset. I yes. just love that video, right? Mm -hmm. Because it talks about how nothing can guarantee you an offer, but we can tell you that you are going to be one of the most prepared candidates today. Like, exactly. More than exactly. That to me was such a confidence booster. I kept reminding myself that I might not yes. get the offer, but remember, you're going to be one of the most prepared people today. And the video also said, listen to music before your interview. I even did that. <laughs> I, I love this, right? I mean, actually, you just executed against what needs to be done. <laughs> I followed the program to the T. Yes, yes. But it's it's great. It's this is this is so great, right? Because I mean, At the end of the day, also, I'm sure you you will agree. Nothing that you that you learned here is rocket science, right? It's not you know super advanced, whatever. It's just you need to trust the process. You need to um, trust that yes, this is what these firms are assessing, right? And I'm going to show them this, and then I'm going to be fine, right? If uh, if you just execute against this, there's not so many bad things that can happen to you along that journey. A hundred percent. The number of times when I learned something in the program and I thought, this is basic common sense. Why am I and almost most other people not even able to think of this? Yes. Yes. It happened multiple times. Yeah. Yes, yes exactly. Amazing. Amazing. So, um, yeah, I mean, before we close, uh, um, do you have any 
particular learnings or hints that uh, you would like to share uh, with the people who are just now starting their preparation for interviews at the top consulting firms? And yeah, most of them are desperately looking for a success strategy. <laughs> Uh, for sure. And also having done this process twice, once when it didn't work out and once when it worked out, mm. I have a good sense of a few don'ts and a few do's. Mm. So definitely the first thing is to stay calm. I think that's very important. I think uh, with a chaotic mind, like less is accomplished. Yeah. Second thing is, um, from my perspective, it's important, like there are many consulting firms, it's important to cast a wide net and treat them all with the same level of respect. Yeah. Like don't, make tears before you have offers. Once you have offers, you make your tears. Yes. Um, but before them, before that, every firm treated with the same level of respect. Yep. Then um, for networking, I remember the first time I recruited, I treated it a little transactionally. So I had one coffee chat. I forgot mm. about them till mm. my interviews came around and then I reached mm. back out. Yeah. But this time around, I really cultivated like a relationship building habit, mm. right? I So I I, I really thought that this is a person who is going to be a career long connection. So I kept in touch. I reached out to like folks at another consulting firm to tell them about my Bain offer. And yes. I was so surprised to see how happy genuinely people are. Yes. And for casing and fit, I really want to say like, if I haven't said it enough already, just follow the program to the T. <laughs> but if you don't agree with something, voice it, speak to the mentors, the coaches, like till you are convinced. Hmm. Till you are, till you buy in completely and then follow the program. I think that is very important. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then uh, again on the process and uh, what I feel is it's not just important to get the offer. It's also important to get it in the right way, like have the right discipline, the right process, because as you say in the program, they are looking for replicability, right? So yes. you want to know that you have the processes that are replicable. Like it's yeah. not just a one-off success, but yeah. if you were to do this again, you can be sure of your success. Yes. So um, have the right routine um, and develop good processes. So I remember I even had a process for rejection handling. So <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is, because I had interviews back to back, mm. uh, what would I do if I received a reject? And then the very next day I had another interview. Mm. So I had a process even for that. My process yes. involved get yourself cheesecake, cry, maybe for <laughs> one or two hours. But then you have to pull yourself into the preparation and constantly redirect your mind if it thinks about the reject. So I had a process for that, right? Yeah. And the I, last I, one... I love this so much, right? Because I'm also, you know, I mean, I'm seeing your development curve right? <laughs> from, from, from the beginning up to now. Now you have already this, you know, super structured mindset, right? Okay, so these are the scenarios. This is what I'm going to do in scenario one. This is what I'm going to do in scenario two. It's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> And I think the last thing is have fun. I think the first time I recruited, I was so miserable. And I think that reflected in all my coffee chats and my interviews. I was I was mm. not happy to be there. I mm. felt like, yeah, this was really draining energy. But the second time around, I, I genuinely enjoy this. I'm going to miss casing. I'm yeah. going to miss the program. I really, really enjoyed this. So yeah. the last yeah. one is just have fun with it. Amazing. Amazing. I love it. I mean... What else to say? I mean, congratulations again, right? As as you said at the beginning, uh, this is indeed this is a big step, right? Uh, um, so be be happy, be proud, right? And uh, also enjoy the time now before you start the job, <laughs> right? Because this is going to be intense, as you are probably aware. So um, if possible, right, have a long vacation before, right? Uh, uh, charge your batteries, right? And then start uh, start the next step uh, with full steam. A hundred percent. I'm going to relax all that I can. But then before the job starts, I will be reaching out again on how should I succeed in this job? Yeah, uh, of course. I mean, uh, this is, of course, something that we've also spoken about. I mean, uh, also one of the reasons why we are doing what we are doing is uh, this is building an amazing network, right? And uh, you are part of that network now. <laughs> That's amazing. And yeah, I really, I still am going to keep casing the peers that who, who have helped me get my offer. So mm -hmm. it really is a community that um, I really relied heavily on. Amazing. Cool. Then uh, congratulations again and all the best. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Thank you, CD.